These are bench cookies. I made these in a previous video a while ago. All you need to do is cut a couple of circles out of 12mm plywood, glue them together, and then stick something grippy on the faces. They're good for raising up sheets of plywood if you're going to cut it with a track saw or a circular saw. You could potentially save a lot of damage to your workbench. But the main use I have for them is when I'm sanding, to keep the piece that I'm sanding from moving while I'm doing it. But there is another solution. I have 3D printed these. And in the files for sale on the website, you'll see there's three different iterations. You've got the mini, you've got the medium, and then you've got the large. And what I've added to them, similar to the experimental wood ones I did, is this slightly under 20 millimeter in diameter bench dog. So not only do they stay in place on your workbench, but due to the hole I've put in the top, they also stack together nicely, keeps them in one place. So all you do is pick a size, print them, and then as before, we're just gonna add something grippy to the top and trim. Do they work well? I'd say so. Whether you make these out of wood or 3D print them, these are super useful. Dog or no dog. And here's a quick bonus. This one is a free download on my website. Once again, the link's in the description. This is the holder for stacking your bench cookies when they're not in use. And I've made one for each of the sizes. There's already holes so you can just screw it straight to your wall or screw it to a French cleat. And then just stack your cookies and store them away when they're not in use. Now briefly, back to the bench cookies. This hole leads on to the next tool. These, these are painter's triangles, cheap and cheerful. They raise whatever you're working on away from the bench so you can apply finish to both sides. These are painter pin dogs or something like that. For this one, I decided to print them into two parts. That way you get a much crisper, cleaner job. You just simply fix them together with some CA glue. And they just drop into your dog hole or a number of dog holes and they'll support your work while you're applying finish to it. You can finish one side, pop it down on the pins to apply finish for the other. And they drop straight into the middle hole of your bench cookie if you want to raise the work up further. And because the bench cookies sit on top of each other, you can raise it as high as you like. Now, these are pretty small and you don't want them floating around the drawers or on the floor in your workshop. So check out tool or file number three in the bundle, the dog tray. Simply stick this in a drawer with all of your bench dog accessories in it, your painters, pins and so forth, and it'll just keep everything together. There's a bundle of files right now on my website. There's a link down in the description if you want to take a look for yourself.